Caldwell to introduce paid parking in downtown. This comes by KTVB7 by Brenda Rodriguez. Caldwell is introducing paid parking in the downtown area starting at the end of this year. The city says the move is necessary to address the problems of cars overstaying in parking spots, which limits the number of cars cycling through downtown. The city will use the money generated by meters to make improvements downtown, such as enhancing surveillance and improving lighting services. There will still be options for people who don't want to pay for parking, There will be areas outside of downtown where people can park and then walk into the interior. The city says they will continue to work through the challenges of implementing paid parking and are excited to see where the new developments go. Now, as some can guess, the introduction of paid parking in downtown Caldwell is a controversial move. Some businesses support the change, saying that it will help bring more businesses into the area. Others are concerned that it will discourage people from coming downtown. The city says that they are committed to making paid parking work for everyone. For example, they scaled back their original plan to charge $1.50 per hour. And as mentioned earlier, they'll be using the money generated by the meters to make improvements downtown. All this to say, it remains to be seen how the introduction of paid parking will impact the downtown area in Caldwell. Which is someone who lives here in Caldwell, this, I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to admit, and I want to be consistent here on the Idaho podcast, a local yokel podcast here, that I just I'm not sure on this one. I could see it going both ways. I can see both arguments. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it, that Caldwell kind of was nice that you could come in and park, and it kind of had that small town feel, but you had kind of that nice development that was kind of coming into itself. And I know there's some areas that are also well-developed and very much busier, I would argue, than Caldwell. Like Eagle, I think, doesn't have paid parking. Don't quote me on that. I don't think they have paid parking anywhere in there. And I don't know why Caldwell's going for that, but maybe Caldwell's looking at the coffers and being like, hey, maybe people aren't going to like this. We're going to wheel out this paid parking for a little bit. We're going to generate a little bit more revenue from it, and that'll allow us to invest in more stuff, maybe more like stacked parking areas or different things. And I know the railroad makes it tricky there, and then there's all the nice, wonderful old homes, and they don't want to demolish those for more parking lots and stuff to try to accommodate for like the growth and things. So I can see the issue they're running into, but... Honestly, I don't feel like when I go and visit Caldwell, and if you're someone that's down here in the valley, you can back me up on this. If there isn't a holiday or an event happening, I feel like Caldwell has usually plenty of spaces. I rarely have an issue with parking there. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I'm going down there at 5 to 6 p.m. to like eat at one of the local places and different stuff and restaurants I like, it might be a little tricky to find a parking spot. But I can I can usually always find a spot to park, right? But I, I don't get, I'd understand if there was really an issue that's coming on. And then also, I could have sworn they're making like a parking garage or something down there. That might be the apartments they're building. I can't remember. I'm, I'm blanking at this moment. That might be Nampa or something. So I, I go back and forth. It will be interesting to see. At the end of the day, that's the cool thing about small local towns. We don't have to think of them in the same way we think about the federal government where a law gets passed. And, you know, you kind of have to gonna have to pass that law expecting that it will never be changed again in the federal government but when you're talking about local places like you know Caldwell and towns and cities right you can pass things and you can try it and then you can sit there and be like nope you know that didn't work and I think cities should be encouraged and I think us as the populace should be willing to do that to be like hey you know general vote said let's go this way cool let's give it a try and then if it doesn't work then I hope the city council will be honest enough to be able to admit they're wrong and be like hey we tried it didn't work. It didn't do the intended goal that we wanted to. We're going to roll that back. We're going to change it to what it is. And hey, at least we tried. And that the community won't just spit roast them for trying new things and trying to improve stuff. Because then at that point, then the city council is just scared out of their minds trying to do anything. They don't touch anything. And then the, the city or town just kind of stagnates and kind of dies off. And it just kind of sits there in its own little bubble and it never grows and develops. Which for some people, I mean, if that's what you want, I understand. It's your town, right? Your city council, vote what you like there. But I would argue the natural progression is that towns grow, you know, kind of an example of what we see in scripture. You know, we have the smallest unit, which is the individual. Then you have the building block of the, of society, of a country, which is the nuclear family. And then out of the nuclear family, you have your communities, your church, and then out of that there again, you've got your towns and then go a little bit and those towns make up like a state or a county and then that county goes into the state side and that state then goes into the overall country, right? And you kind of have these levels and things grow just like individuals and families grow and go through seasons and change. Sometimes there's up, sometimes there's down. 
And that's natural, and that's to be expected. You can't always expect growth, nor should you always restrain it to being the same stagnant way. I think growth is good, adaptation, learning, and adapting is good, but also you need to do it in accordance with what has been done in the past and the nature of that town, you know? Same with an individual. If, if you're a person who has constantly gone down a certain path, shall we say, and then you instantly take a 180, man, that's going to have a lot of whiplash and a lot of things to occur. You start accepting certain ideologies and things, it's going to really struggle and shake your world and your life, and you're, you're, you're going to struggle. Same thing with a community, same thing with a town, that if one minute you know you're the country town or whatever, and then you instantly flip a switch and decide you want to be big, industrial, corporate America, Chicago, heavy industry type of town, right? And you're switching from agrarian type of culture to more of an industrial type of culture. That's going to have a lot of growing pains, and there's going to be a lot of angry and frustrated people and stuff, rather than saying, hey, you know, we are a country town. We live in a country part of the country, shall we say, of the United States, and we don't want to lose that DNA. But also we want to be realistic of that we're growing and there's lots of people here and so certain changes and things need to be done. But let's do this in accordance with the nature, with the history and the traditions of this town and this community. Which, our city council is always going to do that right? No, no they're not. But, but with that said, one can hope and pray if you're involved in your local politics, going to your city council meetings and different things right, that hopefully that will come about in your community. Your involvement will kind of transmit that into your city councils and your boards and different stuff because you'll be keeping them accountable. Because at the end of the day, they're humans, they're sinners, they need help, you need help. We all need to be accountable to something or we'll fly right off the rails. <laughs>